Welcome tonight. Uh, thank you for attending. We're uh, doing our, our weekly SCORE event, which is also sponsored by uh, Window World. And we're doing it here at the Window World Youngstown headquarters. Uh, we're also sponsored by Westminster Entrepreneurial Center and uh, Eastern Gateway Community College uh, Entrepreneurial uh, Center as well. And of course, SCORE and uh, I'm Ron Emery. Um, I've written a couple of books, uh, actually four books. Uh, one of them I'm gonna go over tonight, uh, but I'll give you a little background on myself. I'm a uh, business consultant have done uh, that type of work for quite a while now. Um, do uh, some turnaround work, do some uh, marketing development work, a whole bunch of stuff. I'm 63 years old. I, uh, I, I, I've had, I'm having or have more fun than I've ever had in my career. It's kind of neat to be this old and be doing some really cool new things that are fun and testing the market and making a difference. And so it's really neat to, to be doing that. I've, I've traveled all over the world for business. I've probably flown 4 million miles. I've, uh, I hate to say this because you'll, you'll wonder what my family life was like, but I've spent 3,500 nights in a hotel over the years and uh, always, always had an interest in, in looking at how we can improve ourselves better or what we can do differently in order to make things better. I wanna talk a little bit tonight about my latest book, which is called How to Network at a Funeral. And uh, it's a funny title, I know, but it, uh, even though the, the book starts off giving you another reason for the, for the title, for the name, uh, I'll give you the, the straight scoop on tonight's call. We, uh, I happened to be uh, talking, or my a good friend of mine happened to be talking to me and he said, my wife asked um, how you know her cousin Paul in Buffalo. And uh, he said, I told her how you met. He said, I told her you met at your, at your grandma's funeral. And she said, uh, how does Ron just meet somebody and automatically be friends with them or uh, go to the Bills game or be doing something with them. You mean Ron even networks his funerals. So when, when she mentioned that and Steve told me that, I thought, wow, that's a good title for a book. And uh, I said, we need to figure out how to take uh, advantage of that. So I started to write. Now, as most of you know, if you've followed me before, um, I've written a number of books. I've written uh, a dysfunctional organization of why we'll never be competitive in America again. And yes, these are all long titles, so I, I get that. Um, I've written a book. The second book I wrote was called Growing Comes from Planting Seeds. <clears throat> it's a guide to mentoring and coaching and developing business relationships. And that's a real cool, cool book if you're looking for something cool to read. And then I wrote uh, Maslow to Bunk because I think Abraham Maslow did some great work. However, self-actualization is, is not what we all want to achieve. And what we really want to achieve is fulfillment. And then this book on how to network at a funeral. So what's inside this book and how will it help you? And by the way, the structure today is I'll try to finish up sometime around 6.45, 6.50 and we'll open the floor to questions. So, you know, we'll just go through the slides and it'll help you understand, you know, what, how important uh, networking is to, to develop your business. So one of the things that I want to talk about first is how do you set a goal? So um, I've, I've had many discussions with my wife and she says, why do you have to set a goal? What do you, can't you just let things happen? And I have to, I really believe that nothing happens when you let things happen. <laughs> you need to set a goal and figure out what are you trying to achieve? How, how do I think properly? How do I make an ally? 
And what do I do to create a value equation? So to me, everything that we do is based on value. One of the things I've done recently is working with a, a, an old friend that I've had a, a acquaintance with for 35 years. And he taught me about value add accounting. So it fits very well with what I, um, the way I think and what I do, because to me, everything is a value equation. If I'm going to spend two hours here, what's the benefit long term? And how do I build that equation and make it something that we can build off of? Think about this too. Why would somebody want to talk to you? Or why would somebody want to talk to me? Um, I've noticed that uh, I've mentored a lot of uh, younger folks. And my big feeling is that a younger person coming out of school is looking for the key. What's the key? They think the old man has the key, but really he doesn't. And he just knows how to get the key and how to make things connect. We, we talk in, in one of my books about connect the dots. So for those of you who are on the call that are old enough to, to remember this, back in the newspapers when we were youngsters, I'd go up to, to the market and get the newspaper um, and all I mean, turned to the comic section and there was a connect the dots. So you sat down and you put the dots, connect one by one to two, to three, to four, to five, and you'd have a picture of a horse or you'd have a picture of something and connect the dots. What it basically taught us was that we need to look in, in, in segments and put, the, put it together so that we actually create a vision. So, you know, why would somebody want to talk to me or talk to you? It's the vision that they see and they obviously want something out of you. Now that's not a bad uh, issue. Wanting something out of another individual is not bad. And especially if you're looking for a mentor and you're looking for this fulfillment model that we've, we've kind of talked about or will talk about, um, it, it attracts people to you. So it's easier to talk to someone and easier to develop and build a relationship. So how do I make myself interesting? I don't think you really need to do that. I think that, you know, when you can sit down and talk to someone about, uh, I'll give you a tip. So being involved in sales at uh, various points in my life. So how do I, how do I create that sales equation or how do I create that dialogue with someone else? So it's very easy to sit here at this window world office. And the first thing I notice is there's a Bay Hill golf club, uh, picture on the wall with a bunch of window world folks. So if I wanted to talk to Pat Moran, who's our host here about golf, well, obviously there's some interest there. You look around the room and you see sponsorships for uh, various uh, teams, soccer teams, baseball teams, and a bunch of awards. Or a, a sign that says, uh, we sponsor St. Jude's uh, Children's Research Hospital and Window World Cares. Those are all things that you need to be observant on so that you can actually create conversations and make yourself interesting. We're gonna also talk in this book about owning a relationship and influencing others. And influencing others doesn't just mean that we have to control someone else or overpower someone else, or we have to uh, make someone else do what we want them to do. But how do we look at influencing them in a different way and making them see the light or see the, the value equation, so they automatically do it. So I wanna talk about goals. So angry old men and bitter old ladies were not always that way. What soured them? What made them what they are? Now you can turn that in a positive uh, measure too. And you could say, hey, I like uh, uh, Joe Biden or I like Donald Trump and they're very powerful men 
and what made them so powerful or what made them so successful. So it's not always angry old men and bitter old ladies were not always that way. What changed their life? I had a, a young lady that worked for me years ago who was not a very good employee. She was very sour, bad disposition. And, and, and Bonnie was a, a young girl of probably 25, 27 years old. I asked her the question, you know, about her, uh, the way she grew up. How did she uh, face life? What were some of the issues? She happened to mention to me that her dad, she sees once in a while downtown Akron because he lives on the street. Her mom had some other issues. She was an alcoholic. So keep in mind that, you know, when you see somebody that's bitter, when you see somebody that's angry, that you can fix that. There's an easy way of, of finding out what's wrong and try to address it and fix them and make them a valuable employee. Keep in mind the power of po positivity. I, I was telling a, a young man that works for me the other day about getting up in the morning and my alarm rings at five and it takes me all but three minutes to get out of bed. I don't lay in bed or lie in bed uh, long, but I get up and start moving. Now that has to be, you know, one, one of the things I need to tell you, like I said, I'm 63 years old, so I don't have that many days left. But hopefully I have plenty of them, but you know what I mean. So I'm looking at how do I start the day off and I can't wait to get to the office. Why can't I wait to get to the office? I look at things that are positive and change that we're making in the business and look for the little things that make sense to me that mean we're moving it in the right direction. So why, why waste time on things that aren't tied to your goals? If you're, if you're going to be focused on success, focus on what your goals, uh, on, on the objective of your goals. Here's the alchemy of what I just told you about your goals. Your unshakable belief in what success means to you will feed your desires and motivate. Keep that in mind. And when we talk about alchemy, what I mean is I, I name my business Alchemy Associates. Why? What does the alchemist do? Now, if most of you aren't engineers, you may be saying, I don't really don't know what that word means. But the alchemist changes lead to gold. So what I've always tried to do is say, how do I take something that's not so good? Hey, Ron, you, somehow you got muted. Ron, you're muted. Are we, are we back now? Yeah, just yep. uh, restart on uh, this slide. You got muted right as you like transition to this new slide. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, happened. we'll start again.